An alert from the state health department about a potentially deadly bacteria showing up where people are swimming. Three people have died in North Carolina this summer from Vibrio, a naturally occurring bacteria found in warm ocean water and brackish water. It enters the body through open wounds or cuts. Let's talk about it with Professor Rachel Noble. She is from UNC and she is at the Institute of Marine Sciences. She's joining us right now from uh, Beaufort. Rachel, good to see you. Tell us about the symptoms of Vibrio. Vibrio infections actually um, often present at first as a, um, what I would think would be called an angry wound, hot, red, raised, sometimes forming pustules, which are uh, small bumps along the skin, sometimes progressing to incredibly inflamed and almost cellulitic appearing flesh meaning dappled dark red and whiteness. And also some of the other symptoms can be just overall malaise, um, exhaustion, fatigue, nausea and vomiting. And also uh, a fever usually starts as, as low grade, but then increases to um, more of a spiking fever at about 102 or 103 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm. The kinds of things we would associate with a, with a bacterial infection. What, what is the treatment for Vibrio? One of the things about Vibrio is that they're very, very fast growing bacteria. They um, can double on the order of about 15 to 20 minutes. In the body, what happens is that this takes off very, very quickly. But what you want to do is to remove the, vac the bacteria that's entered the wound in any case through washing, hydrogen peroxide, alcohol treatment if hydrogen peroxide is not available. And in many cases, it's a quick administration of antibiotics, can be a um, antibiotic shot if the person is determined to um, need that in kind of a, um, a critical way or an intravenous form of antibiotics and then um, often vasopressors, so treatment for um, dizziness and for hypotension. Those are the important takeaways. We asked the state health department the ages of the people who died and where they encounter the Vibrio bacteria here in North Carolina, and they say those details are not being released right now. Rachel Noble, a professor at UNC, joining us from Beaufort. Rachel, thanks for your time here on Eyewitness News. Thank you so much for your interest.